did you say outer space? <laughs> My name is Kaylee. And Kaylee. Oh, we are we are Divergent Dream. Divergent <laughs> Dream. Oh, yes. I love that. That's a great name, Divergent Dream. Thank you. Yeah. We thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Something that makes Killer Clowns really, really work as a movie is the sound, music, the composition. Mm -hmm. What inspired you as you were creating? Oh, well, it was very simple. The Kyoto yeah. brothers were very specific. They really? said, we don't want our movie's musical score to sound like all the other movies that are being released within yeah. the past five years, previous, and whatever's being done now. Yeah. It's got to be different. So, go do that. <laughs> So that's, I just said, that's so specific. Yes. Yeah, so, so I said, just be different. Oh, and I said, well, I can make this musical score my own. Yeah. You know, and um, and and so that was the joy of it is to make it my own. Make it. The, this is the music that I like. The Killer Clown March. Yeah. You know when they're marching on to the after <laughs> after they finally yeah. they they go into the spaceship and everything. I wrote that when I was 17. You're kidding. Years before. And my band, they didn't like the song because they said it sounded too jazzy. <laughs> So, uh, so when I saw Killer Clowns, I go, I'm going to take that piece that I did yeah. all those years ago. And now it's now it's become an iconic motif for the brand Killer Clowns. Yeah. Space. And it's in the video game. If you see the new trailer that's out. That trailer. I recorded yeah. a new version and it goes into like different movements and everything. So I'm able to relive and explore that. And all of that is an extension of what, when I was a little kid the first experiences I experienced with film and music in the movie theater yeah. all by myself. It's like that's when <laughs> I got bitten by the music creation bug. That's awesome. Was it like, okay, so you were a kid and you were watching these movies. Right. Was it how they highlighted the characters? Was it how it got you into the story? Was it like, or was it just like how you felt transported by the music? It, it's more of a, it's more of a, an experience. Okay. The experience that the music and the film gave me yeah and it wasn't until I was I didn't even know it was something that someone could do until I was maybe around 11 or 12 yeah and at that point I realized you know the movies and music with movies it gives me an experience all sorts yeah. not of all sorts of genres yeah and I want to do that for to create the experience for myself and hopefully it resonates with people it, it really does I mean one of the things that stood out to me when I first watched Killer Clowns was like how the sound just really it, it like it makes the clowns come alive it just like really brings you into this weird bizarre and crazy world so that's why I'm just like I was curious and it sure. it does it does transport you well you see the uh, how the fans have responded to the movie over all of these years and it's inspired them to create their own art yeah their own cosplay so <laughs> I think there's a, a subtext to the movie I mean you could say oh it's a scary movie oh it's a funny wacky movie but it embraces creativity it does. I, be I believe it does I, embraces creativity I agree so, so um, you know and I'm really thrilled that it survived over these years and there's generations of people that uh, enjoy it like you yes <laughs> definitely like me <laughs> And if you come to uh, Horicon LA on September 30th, uh -huh. I'm performing. Oh. What? I, I created a show called The um, <laughs> Darkest Carnival. That which, sounds amazing. So The Darkest Carnival is a cosplay rave party. That's and so there's cool. a whole, whole new uh, set of music tracks I created yeah. just for this show. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, also, but more important, is that the Dickies are performing as well that's they're, so cool they're like the headliners yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah but we'll, we'll be there for you though well thanks <laughs> thank you so much for talking to us this thank was you. really inspiring thank that's you. so cool to find out that that was a track that you created when you were 17 yes. oh my god actually i think 16 going on 17 something sometime around that's there. so impressive yeah. that's so, so impressive. Uh, um you know how can i follow you oh you can follow us on youtube instagram and tiktok the youtube the gram the talk and not X. Not. 
<laughs> no, we're not on hack. Because <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> it's broken. It broke. <laughs> it used to be so wonderful. I post something and people would like it, and then mm -hmm. I would see things that um, I like, and all of a sudden I'm seeing things I don't like, and I don't know what this is. Why am I pages and pages of stuff that doesn't apply to me? That's the first thing but I noticed. You're on YouTube, and yes. YouTube, YouTube is very good to me. Very YouTube is probably really good too. Now, are you all guy? All you, even your behind the camera crew yes. is on it. Yeah. Do you have like? Uh, so this is your production crew. Yep. This is really awesome. <laughs> That's really awesome. I will follow you. I will. I will like your videos. Thank you. I will, I will ring the bell so I get notifications. Absolutely. And I will share <laughs> on my, on my social media too. Thank you so much. Even we if really you don't air this. That. We will. <laughs> We will absolutely Even though you this. don't air my interview <laughs> with Kaylee, <laughs> if, I will still follow you. Because, because you know, this was just all a ruse to, to get you to be one of our fans. That was the whole reason for this entire interview. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're that was awesome. <laughs>